Hello folks, let's go ahead and take a look at SAP Data Services Workbench. We're going to go through the basics of creating a replication job and I'll do it a couple of times. First time using the quick replication wizard and the second time we will do it manually and while do it manually we'll take a look at how to use multiple data sources within the same replication job. Here's my workbench login screen. Okay, first time we're going to do it uh, using the quick replication wizard as mentioned before and uh, in case you don't see the wizard screen or the welcome screen and you want to bring it up, go to help and welcome page, select the quick replication wizard, call it demo project. go back one more step actually uh, what are the things that we're going to go through uh, while doing it using the replication wizard choose the source database tables to replicate target database uh, select the repository and execute the jobs so going back to the next step I'm going to select a DB2 database here I've already created my DSN so I'm just going to write in the name test the connection to see if it's working okay seems to work fine select the tables that I want to replicate I'm going to select uh, Tim country and uh, Tim IMS as an example select the source data type uh, you could select files but I'm going to leave it as database or data store and uh, of course the type is database so I'm going to replicate it to HANA Whose name? Type in the password. So the test is successful. Go into the next step. Uh, select the repository and the job server in case you have many of those. Click on finish. it's going to show me the number of rows and the status by the way pardon uh, the speed of my server my data services server is a test server which I have managed to mess up totally and so it's choked okay and uh, there you go your tables are replicated from your source to target now as mentioned earlier let's take a look at creating a replication job manually and uh, going back to my project here I think it was this one here I'm gonna create a couple of more data sources or you know one more data source and uh, instead of right clicking here and saying new data store what I'm gonna do is go to a previous project uh, let's say I go to this one here and I'm gonna copy the one that I have here control C control copy it into my demo project so I have a, a HANA source also it's actually the same database in this particular case it's just a different scheme I'm using it for the demo let's create a couple of flat file formats because I also want to load data from a flat file instead of manually creating a flat file format I'm gonna say automatically import file formats from existing files I'm gonna leave it as local because I am working on uh, the server itself in your case you might have to select it as job server and store the files on the job server add files go to data see how I am able to select multiple files and create uh, the file formats for them I'm going to leave it all as default okay so now I have my data store which is from DB2 and then I have a data store which is from HANA I have my target data store and I have two flat files let's go ahead and create a new replication job new 
application job demo job finish here I have a dummy replication job here first thing I'm gonna go in and uh, select my target data store I could just click here and select the same or I could just drag it over save this now let's go ahead and uh, here's the beauty of it just uh, drag in whatever you want uh, from your data sources and in this case I'm gonna take uh, the two tables from DB2 two tables from one other database in this case a HANA database and uh, my transaction files or my flat files I have all of them here and uh, there are a couple of minor changes that I need to do uh, you don't necessarily need to do them but uh, this will also help me show you where to change the column types and things like that so for these flat files I have to change uh, the uh, column type for transaction quantity from decimal to double so do that transaction charges also I need to do that decimal to double in case you wanted to sell uh, change something further like I uh, know uh, increase the length of a wear care field or something like that this is where you would do it and uh, let's save it all deploy your replication job and execute And here to show you the progress of the uh, replication so there you go all the data has been replicated from your source to target I'm just gonna ignore the warnings 